Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Nikki with MontanaCrochetCreations.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this really cute bobble stitch here. Um, as you can see, it kind of sticks up. It's really adorable. I think it gives it a really unique look to a lot of different projects. Um, and it's extremely easy to learn how to do. So whenever you go to make your bobble stitch, you'll just be going based on the type of yarn and the crochet hook that your pattern calls for, and then you'll just follow the pattern. But this is just a quick little tutorial on how to learn how to do the bobble stitch. All right, so let's get started for um, our tutorial on how to learn how to do this bobble stitch. So I started with just a chain here. Um, you don't really need any random number of chains. You can do as many as you like, but I'm starting with a chain of 20. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go into our second chain from the hook and we're going to single crochet and we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way along here until we get to the very end. But I'm at the very end, what I'm going to do is chain one and I'm just going to turn my work and I'm going to work my way over a couple of stitches. Um, each pattern is going to be completely different and I'm just going to single crochet. Let's say we'll single crochet over three stitches here. And then now we're going to start our bobble stitch. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into this stitch right here. And we're going to drop our loop. We're going to come through our second loop here. Now we have the two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, go back into that same stitch, drop our loop, and then we're going to go through two more loops. Now we've got three loops. We're going to yarn over, go back into that same stitch, drop our loop, now we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, drop a loop, pull through two, and now we have five loops on our hook, and I like to do one more time. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through two loops, and then now we have our six loops. So now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops, and then I'm going to chain one. And then if you turn it over, you can see on this side, we've created a nice little bobble right here. Now that I have my first bobble stitch created, and like I said, it's gonna be depending on what your pattern calls for and everything, I'm going to go into the next stitch, maybe the next three stitches, and just do a single crochet here, so then that way we can work one more bobble stitch for you. So I did three single crochets, so now we're gonna come back into this next stitch right here, and we're going to yarn over, and we're inserting our hook and we're going to pull up. Now we have our three loops. We're going to yarn over and go through two of those loops. Now we're going to go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through just two loops. Now we have three loops on our hook. And then we're going to yarn over just like that and pull through two more. Now we have four, and remember we're going to do this until we have six loops on our hook. So we're going back in, drawing up our loop, pulling through two loops. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. So we only have one more left to go. Oops, just like this. We're going to yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and now we have our six loops on our hook. So we're gonna pull through all six of those loops. And then we're going to chain one. There we go. And then, so now we're just gonna work our way down. So we're going to single crochet, let's say in three more stitches. So there's one, two, and we have three. This is getting in my way just like that. And now let's do another bobble. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, and we're going to drop our loop, pull through two, yarn over, go back in, drop our loop, pull through two, yarning over, going back in that stitch, drawing up our loop, pulling through two loops. We have four. Now we're going to have five stitches. And then here's our last one, and now we have our six. I'm gonna pull through all six stitches, just like that. And now we're going to come over and we're going to single crochet, 
in a few of our stitches. And like I said, the patterns for your bobble stitch, um, it can vary. They can be right next to each other. They can be spaced out like this. It just really does depend on what your pattern calls for. So there's our three. So we're going to do a bobble stitch and then we'll fit and end with our three single crochet. So yarning over, going back in, drawing up our loop, going back in, drawing up our loop here. Now we have three, we'll go back in, pull through two stitches. Now we have our four loops. We're going to pull through two stitches. We've got five loops and we'll go back in and pull through our last two stitches. And now we have our six loops and we're going to pull through all six loops. Chain one, and then we're going to single crochet just like this in our last three um, single crochet from the previous round, just like this. So now what we're going to do, and this usually is how it happens with every single round of bobble stitches. We're gonna chain one, turn our work. And now you can see we've got all three of our little bobble stitches and how much they stick out. So for normally round two, and like I said, your project will vary. You're going to just single crochet in every single stitch all the way across, including grabbing that top stitch that your bobble is at. So there we go. And then you're just single crocheting across there. And then that is everything that you need to do. And then you'll just continue on at the end of this. You'll just literally um, single crochet, work your way to wherever your pattern says for the next bobble stitch, and then you'll create your bobble stitch. All right, and there you have it. I went ahead and did a couple of rows, so that way you'd kind of see what it looks like whenever you do the bobble stitch. Um, like I said, depending on how your pattern works uh, is how you will follow each row. So you can see I did four here, and then I did five, and then I did four, kind of alternating. So then that way they're not stuck one on top of each other. So anyway, that is everything. The bobble stitch is super fun to do. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to ring that notification bell as I try to post here as often as I can. And that is everything. I love you guys all so very much, and I will see you in my next video.